federal government purportedly um, received a petition against the Chief Justice of the Federation for non and fictitious declaration of assets. And within 24 hours, they concluded their investigation and uh, charged him before the Code of Conduct Tribunal. Well, at that point, people are like, well, what is going on? I think what really revealed the intention of, or what got people scared was a motion uh, by the prosecuting authority that the Chief Justice should recuse himself and vacate office until the trial is concluded. That got people worried and a lot of people started asking, wait, what is this you are doing? First, it is the constitution is very clear and provided for the disciplining of erring judicial officers. First of all, we have to establish that there is nobody that is above the law in Nigeria, from the president, chief justice, the senate president, down to the common man on the street. And the constitution all provided for ways to handle any misdemeanor or criminal activities by anybody in Nigeria. So it's very clear. Now what got people worried is not that, it's not the allegation against the Chief Justice, but the manner in which it was handled. The Constitution made a provision for how to handle any case of misdemeanor against the Chief Justice. Now what the federal government did was to go, was to put the Constitution aside and just go directly for the jugular of the Chief Justice. So in effect, people were able, people interpreted that move not as, as, not as a way to really establish the truth or to, 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 to know whether the allegation was true or false, but just to get the Chief Justice out of the way for political reasons, coming just one month to a general election. So it got people worried, of course, and it was against the Constitution, blatantly against the Constitution. First, you do not um, try the Chief Justice in the Code of Conduct Tribunal without first referring his matter to the National Judicial Council. It is only after this is done with that the case could go to the Code of Conduct Tribunal. And secondly, the mode of removal of the Chief Justice is from an address supported by two-thirds of the Senate. That is the only way the Chief Justice can be removed because he is the head of the third arm of government. So there are lots of speculations, but regardless of those speculations, what is of utmost importance is the need to know that we are a democracy, we are a country governed by rules. And when we begin to disobey, to begin to, when we begin to go against those rules, when we begin to disregard those rules, we are making this country to gradually become an anarchic um, um, state, a state that is not governed by rules, a dictatorship, an autocratic state, and that is not the dream of every Nigerian. State.